I'm Bob Jockman. I'm uh, the Green Party candidate for Kitchener Conestoga. If I had a single issue to run on this election, it would be out of proportional representation. Federal Canada calls it a foundational issue, and that's because legislation doesn't get enacted the way that people want it to be. So there's, there's a lot of issues that are very important to Canadians, uh, issues on poverty, issues on uh, sovereignty, issues on uh, issues on the NICA, you know, uh, whatever it goes on. But these issues don't get discussed in Parliament because of a false majority that exists. Um, so in order to get any of the other party platform issues addressed in Parliament, there has to be a proportional system first so that the Canadians can actually have their uh, issues addressed properly in Parliament in the proportion in which they, uh, they voted for those things. Uh, and that doesn't happen today. The problem with the 2007 referendum that took place in Ontario was that um, the promise was made at the beginning of the election cycle in 2003 or 2004. Yet, a citizen's coalition wasn't actually established until less than a year before the next election date. So there was insufficient time to do the research. It's a complex topic, and the people who have chosen to evaluate this were not experts in the electoral reform field. So time is needed, and enough money and educational materials need to be made available to the citizens so that you can actually make an informed decision on the outcome of that. The party that's in power always likes first past the post because it's what got them there. I mean, you know, 25% of eligible voters cast a ballot for the Conservatives, and they got 56% of the seats in, in uh, the legislature. You know, what party that's in power doesn't like that system? Well, the party that doesn't like that is the party that was in power the last time. What you tend to see happening with the first past the post system is that one party gets in with a majority, and then the next election, everybody's so unhappy with that, or at least a 25% of the electorate are so unhappy with that, that they vote for the other party the next time around. So even for the parties that have won by a first-past-the-post system, it is to their advantage to be elected in a proportional system because they continue to be in power from one term to the next. And so uh, you don't often see that. A party can no longer rule with that one iron fist from a single check mark on a single ballot. Uh, they now have to take into account that they're in much higher competition with the other parties and you know you have far more choice you have a far more powerful ballot with which to choose your representatives so i think openness and transparency will be a result of a proportional system but not directly as a as a straight cause and effect so a little bit more subtle than that you're only electing a single member to parliament in the entire region of, of uh, kitchen and conestoga so if you didn't vote for the person who gains office you really have no representation in the area at all. I mean, if, if you thought that uh, Mr. Albrecht was going to give you adequate representation, you would have voted for him in the first place. People don't vote because a large number of them believe that their vote doesn't count. Having a proportional system in peace, changing that so that every vote does count, so that there is both regional representation and party-wide representation, and you have somebody to go to in a multi-member district, means that voting habits will change. So I think that um, introducing proportional representation into the voting system will actually increase, increase the voter turnout. Most vote wins is, is easy to, uh, to understand. And I think part of the trouble there is that uh, people listen to the, um, the videos on, on uh, single transferable vote and MMP and see the mechanics that are required to count the votes. But the voters don't have to do that part. You know, that's, that's going to be done um, electronically or even by a manual count by people who are experts at counting ballots. You know? mm -hmm. it's, uh, the voter simply has to mark a check mark on the ballot or an X on the ballot. And in the case of MMB, two check marks. And in the case of STV, you know, numbering from 1 to 20. That's where it ends for the voters. It is not more complex. And people will tell you that. Changing the voting system is really, really difficult. Well, under MMP, um, you essentially have to choose your local regional representative with a check mark in a box, and um, your uh, overall party representative with a check mark in another box. So two check marks, yes, is twice as difficult as voting has been in the past. But Canadians can handle that. Uh, with single transferable vote, you have to rank your members, you know, from, uh, from one to five, perhaps, or in a, in a large multi-member riding, perhaps from one to 20. Canadians can count the plenty. That's not overly difficult, so that's not difficult to achieve either.
whether you're using mixed member proportional or a single transferable vote or uh, one of the other systems such as block voting or um, approval voting, the outcome is going to be essentially the same. You're going to end up with 40% um, of the voters voting for one party and that party only getting 40% of the seats. A proportional outcome um, is what you get for any sort of proportional voting system. Once proportional representation exists in the Canadian voting system, I think we'll see a change of heart. I think we'll see that the parties will see it to their advantage to form coalitions. And those coalitions aren't necessarily cast in stone. Those could be shifting coalitions. You know, for one portion of, of Parliament, you may see a coalition between, say, the Greens and the Liberals. And for the next one, you'll see between the Greens and the NDP. And certainly, there's going to be cross-party cooperation um, in, uh, within the Green Party, no matter how the coalitions take place. Coalition is not a dirty word. Coalitions is, is the way things are normally done in proportional systems. And I think Canada will either follow suit or come up with something uniquely Canadian in the way of cooperation to you know, get uh, a cooperative partner. I think of proportional representation. It's not sexy, it's, it's not at the top of the list of what the mainstream media is reporting, but I think it's probably the most important issue that you can uh, base your vote on in the coming election. So um, choose who will best represent you. Uh, those who will best represent you will be advocating for proportional representation.